guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and I'm in a different location against the I'm actually back home for the weekend so I thought I would film a couple of videos whilst I was down just to give me something to do so I am here today with my November favourites so let's get right in first up is this, it is the Clear All Nice and Easy CC Colour Seal Conditioner for Brilliant Blondes obviously I'm not blonde but down there underneath that blue there is blonde but I put this on after every shower when I wash my hair. I put this on after I have towel dried my hair, brushed it out. I put this on, leave it for two minutes, just at the ends of my hair where the, where the colour is. And it keeps my colours vibrant and also keeps my hair really soft because dye sometimes, you know, dries it out. Um, and moving on to my second favourite of the month is this hair dye. Now this is not what I've been using all the time. The first one I used, I showed you it in, was it my September favourites? It was my September favourites. It was the Bleach London Washed Up Mermaid, which was when my hair was green. But as you can see, it's a bit more bluer. So I was using War Paint, um, Electric Blue I think, but it's about 40 quid on UK Amazon and $17, $17 in the US Amazon and my friend, my flatmate Millie was using it and she let me have it and I would use primer with it like to make it pastel but then I found this and this is the Swarskoff Live um, Turquoise Temptations Ultra Bites or Pastels and this is so good, this is what makes my hair so vibrant I don't put any primer or anything, I just use this on the bottom of my hair and it's only £3 from Asda I think it was like 3 86 from Amazon, um, from Amazon? from Asda so I highly recommend my next favourite is a soak shower cream thing. It is the Zoella Soak Offer Bath Soak and Shower Cream. So I got this for my Christmas and then I got it again for my birthday this year but I tried it for the first time this month and oh my god I am in love. It is so good. It is so smells so nice. You come out smelling just so classy and elegant. I love it to pieces. Now on to clothing and miscellaneous. So the first piece of clothing I have is a dress. And it is this dress from Boohoo. And by the way, the coat hangers are from Primark. So this is a long, 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 long dress. So it's long at the back and it sort of comes over at the front. So it's really kind of quite short. So I wear shorts with it just to show so your hoo-ha doesn't get shown because look, that's the slit goes right up the top. And then this obviously crosses over so I love it, it's long sleeved as well, it's absolutely stunning and I'll insert some pictures, I wore this to my graduation um, a couple of weeks ago I love it so much, it's so pretty, I just love it and it fits so lovely, this is from the plus size range um, on Boohoo and this is a size 20 and I got the size lower than I thought I would need because usually I go a size bigger or a couple of size bigger but this was fine and I love it so much my final clothing item and my final miscellaneous item is this jumper from my university and it's like a sweatshirt um, and it says University of Stirling 1967 to 2017 so it was established in 1967 so this is like their whatever year obviously with this I am in love with this it's so comfy it's just grey and lovely and it's good to throw on with a pair of leggings or a pair of jeans or anything really. Now on to TV. So this month I only have one favourite and it is The Crown which was a Netflix original series with Claire Foy and Matt Smith. It is incredible. It basically documents the life of the the first roughly te decade of you know um, Queen Elizabeth II becoming Queen essentially and her coronation and everything and it's so incredible and it's coming back for a second season I'm so excited I love it so much and it's oh all 10 episodes are on Netflix so go take a watch I have no movies this month because I haven't seen to, been to see Fantastic Beasts yet so I've got no movies this month um, but let's go on to music which we all know I love so let's get started. So my first song in November is an oldie. A few of these are oldies. There's only one new song on this list. A lot of oldies. So I was in the library on Sunday with Chloe and we were rediscovering all the Hannah Montana songs. 
So there's three coming up. So this is the first one and it's called Start All Over. <laughs> Cyrus from the Hannah Montana 2 soundtrack Meet Miley Cyrus. Um, next up is Good and Broken. <laughs> and broken from the same album as the previous song um, and finally for Hannah Montana the next song is an oldie but it's from her breakout album oh, it's called Full Circle <laughs> by Maria Cyrus. Now this is like the only new song on my list. This is Better Man by Little Big Town and it's written by Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Next up is a song by David Bowie which is probably one of my favourite Bowie songs um, really to be really honest with you and this is John I'm Only Dancing. <laughs> That was John I'm Only Dancing by David Bowie, who I still miss dearly, like to this day, I still cry over him. The final song to end November favourites on is to get you all ready for Christmas. This is All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey.
video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below what are your November favourites and what song gets you in the mood for Christmas. And I will see you guys again on Thursday with another video. See you then. Bye.